Hi everyone, I'm Heva and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you the things that I finished for the month of April and it is quite a basket full. I mean, this sucker's heavy. Yeah, I did finish quite a bit this month and I'll let you know if I loved it, if I have backups of it, if I will repurchase, or if they were kind of like me, you know? There are some that were kind of me. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to it. Let me show you my basket again. And you know what? Let me show you my masks first this time. Let me show you my masks. Here they are right here. You know, I won't go through every one of them. I'll list everything down below. Uh, but here's the Shiseido one, the Benefiance for the eyes. And another one for the eyes. I got this one in, I believe, a Beauty Fix uh, subscription box. And this one was really nice. I really did... See the moisture in it. It's by Skin. This is the Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. And it's a different kind of a eye mask. It kind of sticks to underneath your eye. I hope that makes sense. Do I, do I still have it here? Yeah, I still have it here. This is what it looks like. It's not sticky anymore. But... Alright, let me get the other one. <laughs> but... This is what it looks like, and it just, there's an adhesive part on this side right here, and it just sticks. So yeah, this one was a nice one. I really enjoyed this one. I think I will like to get more of these. I think I do. These are, you know, the Korean skincare brand right here, Innisfree and Misha. I have several of these, love these, and they range from $2 all the way up to, I think the most expensive one I have here is about 15 but the Rodeal, I like the Rodeal. I have some of these. The Floropy, I keep, I keep messing up that name. The Floropy, yeah, that's it. So Wasu, the, the uh, Too Cool for School, and the Lancome Genifique. This one was a nice one. This one, I think I have one more left, and I usually use this for a special occasion because this one is really nice and expensive. <laughs> and let me show you this one right here. This one here, it's by Primary Raw, and it comes in a two-step. The first step is like a glycolic lotion in here, and it's saturated in this Q-tip, and then the mask. I noticed that my pores were smaller with this. And this you can find at Sephora. I should have bought some more at the Sephora sale, but I didn't think about it. But I will be getting more of this. This is a really neat uh, setup here. All right, those are my masks. And you know, whenever you finish a product, at least for me, and I know I've said this before, you feel an accomplishment. It's like, yes, finally finished this. But there's one product in here that I was so sad that it was finished. <laughs> and it is by Skin Medica. It is the TNS Essential Serum. I was so sad when this finished. I kept pumping more to see if there's anything more that will come out because this thing costs $280. But I love it. I love it. I do buy it when it's on sale and I already bought a backup months ago. And this right here, I started using this in December, so it finished in April, so January, February, March, April. So about four or five months of uh, usage in this bottle. Again, I don't use it every day because I want to keep it I want it to last longer because of the price. So I use it every other night. No, every other day in the day. I just opened up a new bottle today, and so whenever I see it on sale again, I will buy it. I buy it from Lovely Skin or Derm Store. They'll usually have 20, 25% off the Skin Medica pro uh, products. So that's the only time I buy this product is when it's on sale. But I do love this. It just makes my pores smaller. It just makes my face brighter. I just love this. All right, I finished another thing of the Regenesis, the thickening shampoo and conditioner. I have backups of this. And again, I'll buy this one on sale from either Lovely Skin or Derm Store. And I do feel that this has really thickened my hair. I mean, not to a point where it was before, but I just love how this feels on my hair. I've been trying other uh, shampoo and conditioners which I'm using and I'm almost finished with those but this is my go-to. These two we bought in Italy when we went on our trip. This is the Santa Maria Novella in Frianza which is in Florence, Italy. This is the rose water 
and this is the uh, uh, it says bubble bath but it's a shower gel this one here this is our second bottle that we finished and when we went back to Italy this year in January we, we bought two more so I have backups of this this one we bought it when we were in Italy in January and this is my husband this is what my husband uses and my husband loves this and I love it when he uses this it smells so good on him I really do like the shower gel on him I'm gonna look online see if I can buy more of this one so I would love to buy more of this one especially for him he really enjoyed this and so did I but yes all right, another two items here by the same brand. It's Neutrogena the sunscreen in spray and lotion. This one is the SPF 70. This one is the S SPF 100. This one we use it when we're on the beach, and we just, I mean, we just pile it all over us. I don't use this around the house or at home. I probably should wear more sunscreen. I know, I know, but for the beach we do use this. So usually we'll put the spray on first and then the lotion right after. I just like that combo. I just feel that it, it just helps protect us, protect the skin. And I know that's a little overkill, but at our age, and yes, I know I do need to wear more sunscreen during the day besides the beach, but we need to protect our skin. And I have backups of these. I have the Dr. Dennis Gross, the glycolic pads. I'm using this up. And I have a sample here of Dr. Dennis Gross, the C plus collagen. I really like this one. I'd like to try more of it though before I really decide to buy it, but I like this one. All right, a couple of masks here. This one is by May Lindstrom, the Honey Mud. Love this one. Love, love, love this mask. This one, I use it in combination with the Clean Dirt. I'll put, put those together and put it on my face. And then I'll get into the shower and just, you know, put a little water on my face and just scrub scrub my face with that mask and the smell the scent just smells so good and it feels so good and you could also use this as a cleanser now i typically don't use this one as a cleanser because i want this to stay on my face a little bit longer than just a cleanser but i have used this by itself and whenever i rinse it off you know i'll just keep it on my face for about 20 minutes and whenever i rinse it off it just comes off like silk it just feels so good coming off you know i already have a backup of this one I'm, oh, it just smells so good and i do love a lot of her products and the honey mud yes another mask here this one's by fresh the vitamin nectar and i already have a backup of this and the backup that i got is a smaller size you know i'm trying several masks i love masking and so i thought you know next time i'll get the smaller size because it is cheaper for one and two you don't have to worry about uh, losing its expiration date or anything i believe this one lasted me about eight months so i probably could have gotten away with getting the big size but you know i want to try more masks so i'm just kind of spreading it all out spreading the love you know i do love this one i love the vitamin c mask in this i love how it brightens my face and i love the scent the citrusy orangey smell so yes i do have a backup of this Two things here by M61. This is the Vitablast C Scrubbing Mask, and this is the Power Spot Pad. This one comes in a pack of 10. This one, whenever I feel a breakout coming, actually, I already have one coming out right here. Where is it? The zit right here. I mean, but too bad I just finished this. So I couldn't use it last night. This one here, you do smell the salicylic acid in this one but I really do like it with breakouts. I get this from Blue Mercury. There's several stores and you can get them online. They usually have a good gift with purchase every now and then, so I'm just gonna wait for that. And this one here is, is the Vitablast C Scrubbing Mask. And this one I keep in the shower. You know, just do a little nice exfoliation on my face and neck. Whenever I get out of the shower, I do feel that my face brightens up. Yes, I know I'm looking for things to brighten up my face, but I just like a brightened face, a nice clean face, and this one does it for me. And I already have a backup of this one. I bought this one several months ago. And this one here is by Naya24. This is the restorative cream. This is my second bottle of this one, my second jar. And I love this one. I love this one. You know, it has the niacinamide in here, which is really good for the skin. It repairs, it improves the tone and texture, and it just moisturizes and brightens the face. 
I know, another Brighton item here. And I use this one at night with its serum with the same brand. Yes, and I already have a backup of this. This one here by Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. This one here, my husband has been using this one and probably will not be repurchasing this one. He says that it just makes his face look a little greasy for him. So he did finish it up. He was a trooper. He did finish this up for me as you can see right there, but I won't repurchase this one. Another mask here, and this one's by Innisfree. It's kind of like a build your own mask. And we bought this when we went to New York back in November. It's a shame that they do not sell this online because it costs like two, three, four dollars when you buy the whole thing together. And it comes with two bases, I guess you could say. This one here is the clay mask. And there is a cream mask. The clay mask is a little bit thicker. I like the cream mask and I think I used that one up several months ago. So if I ever go to New York again, I will like to buy more of this. Because once you get your base, you get, you know, I think they had like several flavors that you could put inside the base uh, mask. This one I got was soybean. Oh, what was this one? Did I throw it away? Oh, what was this one? Oh no, it's inside. I put it inside. <laughs> so I can remember what flavor this one was. This is tangerine. This one was a tangerine flavor. So, all right, good on my part. You know, you can put one or two, but usually it's just the maximum is two and you just put it in the base and you mix it up and you put it on your face. And I really like the creamy base better than the clay base. But I would like to get these again because two to four dollars for a nice creamy base, a mud base, a mud mask, and you know you can kind of pick and choose which flavors you want to be in it. And I just wish that they sold it online. I really do. I like this. And this one was my last one because I only bought two. So if I can, I would like to rebuy these, repurchase these. Yes. I have a Sarah Hap, the lip scrub. This one is in the flavor brown sugar. I finished this and I already have a backup of that. This one here is by Sunday Riley, the Good Jeans and the Luna Oil. This one came like in a kit by Sephora many months ago and so I got this. And I do like how my face feels in the morning after I put these on at night, the night before. And I do have, you know, several more samples of the Good Jeans because whenever Sephora has them, for points, I just stock up on this. So I didn't need to buy this one yet in the full size because I have several of them. This one, this was the only time I've used the Luna oil and I really like it. I will probably wait and see, you know, maybe when the next Sephora sale comes out for 20% off, but I really would like to get this one again and pair it up with this. It's a good combination. This one here is by Tatcha and this is the Polished Rice Enzyme Powder. And this one is, a, it comes in a smaller size, so I did get the smaller size. Again, it is cheaper, and I already have a backup of this, and I really do like how it feels. It's kind of like a scrub when you wash your face, so I'll use this one as a third cleanse, I guess you could say, because my first cleanse is the cleansing balm, and then my second cleanse is a good cleanser, and then I like to use like an exfoliator or, you know, a little scrub, and this one was one of them, and I do like this one. I do have another backup of this size, after I finish the backup, I don't know if I'll repurchase it again, so we'll see how that plays out. This one here is by Innisfree, another product from Innisfree, and then we got this also when we were in New York, and this is the Pore Cleansing Toner. I really do like this. I like the smell. I like the slip. I like that it what it does to my pores, and I would like to get this again. Okay, this one here is by DHC. This is the Deep Cleansing Oil. I believe I got this one in a, a Beauty Fix box or maybe the advent calendar that I got but this one's a nice oil uh, cleanser. I don't typically use oils like this to cleanse my face because I like the cleansing balm. This one I use you know just to clean swatches off my hand or my arm so unless I get it in another you know subscription box or an advent calendar I probably will not be getting this one. Another item that I got in a, a subscription box, this is by Codage, Codage, I believe that's how you say it. Let me show it to you there. This is the scrubbing cream. I like this one, but you can only find this one, I believe, look fantastic. But if I had a chance, I would like to buy this 
La Mer, another sample cream from La Mer. This here is by Cow Shed. This is the Lippy Cow for the lips. Mm, this one didn't impress me much, so I will not be getting this one again. All right, a lot of samples here. And then this one also came in a kit from Sephora. This is by Drunk Elephant. This is the Virgin Marula Oil and the C Serum, the Vitamin C Serum. I have this one in a full size, and I also have this one in a full size. And I do like this for travel. And I think I already got one this size. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. And if I don't, I will be getting this size again. I really like this for travel. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, the, the camera got hot on me and turned off, so I had to let it cool down a little bit. But we're almost finished. I promise we're almost finished. Not much left is in here. This one here is by Belif. This is the Hungarian Water Essence. I like this. I like this. And I would like to get this one again. I want to finish some of my other essences first. And yes, I would like to get this one again. I really like the smell. I like the feel. I like the slip. And I like what it does. So yes. All right, here. This is an oil. I believe this one came as a gift. This is by Rodin. Some oils work for my skin and some others don't. This one did not. Sorry. All right, another skincare item here. This is by Kate Somerville. This is the Wrinkle Warrior. And this one, I got points. I used my points in Sephora to get this and I already got another one. I think, yeah, I do have another one. And I like this one. We'll see after I finish the other one to see how I feel about it. But for now, I'm just going to use that one and go from there. All right, the next items here are makeup. Yay, makeup. I finished the mascara. This one's by L'Oreal, the Superstar X Fiber, and by Maybelline, the Total Temptation. These, they work well together. Because, you know, I love my mascara. I love using two, three coats of mascara, two different products of mascara. But separately, not so much. And I do have tons of mascara. I don't know why I keep accumulating mascaras, but for now, I probably will not repurchase these. Maybe sometime in the future, because I do like them together. But separately, no, but I will repurchase them later. Uh, see, here's another mascara, but this one's a travel size of the Lancome Miss Your Big. I love this mascara. I have the full size, and I think I'm, that one's about to dry out pretty soon. I use it today. This one, I love. So whenever I finish that one, again, I still would like to finish up my mascara so I don't keep accumulating it. But who knows, maybe I will repurchase this one, but this one came like in a sample. This one was a nice travel size and it's finished. <laughs> oh, another mascara. Another mascara, this is the Dior Show Iconic Mascara. Yeah, this one didn't do much for me, so I will not be repurchasing this one. And two eyebrow pencils by Benefit, the Precisely My Brow. I love these. I love these. This one is in the shade three and four. Three was the very first one I ever bought. Um, back, I guess, when it came out. And it was just too light, so I bought four. And I like four, and I, this is like my third, my third one. So I finally finished three, you know, just to finish it. But I will not be getting three again, but I have backups of four. And I will continually, continually, continue to use this one, plus the e.l.f. one. Those two I really like. All right, those are the products that I finished. Now let me show you. There's three products here that I tried, but I just couldn't finish. I just couldn't finish. This one here, and I couldn't return them. And this one here is by Skin Cuticles. This is the AGE Interpreter. I believe that's what it says. Let me make sure. Yes, the AGE Interpreter. I don't like this one. I mean, and I tried. I tried putting more than double of product on my face just to finish it, but I couldn't. I just couldn't finish this product. I don't like the slip. I don't like the smell. I don't like the feel. I just didn't like what it did. And this one was not cheap, and I couldn't return it. So this one will have to go in the recycling bin. All right, another item here that I couldn't finish up. This one's by Living Proof. This is the Restore Mask Treatment. This one, I think, came in a kit of other Restore products in that line. This one just weighed my hair down. I did not like this at all. You, you can kind of see. I tried this several times, but it just didn't work out. So, we'll not be getting this one. 
And another one that's a sample size, this is by IGK, this is the Coconut Oil Gel. Another product here that just weighed my hair down. I want my hair to be nice and full and fluffy. I don't need, you know, oils and all the products to just weigh my hair down. So this one, I'm glad it was just a sample size, but I will not be getting this one. All right, you guys, those are the products that I finished for the month of April. Quite a bit, quite a bit here. So I'm glad I finished them. There are a few products here, especially the Skin Medica one that I was a little sad that it was finished, but it's all good, it's all good. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me in this video, in this empties video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.